power of shows like The Voice and Idol, where they introduce us to incredible new talent. And while we know our homegrown stars this morning, we're meeting a young man who stole the show in the UK's Britain's Got Talent. Jonathan Antoine didn't win Britain's Got Talent, but his impressive voice wowed the judges so much, Simon Cowell gave him a record deal anyway. And five successful albums later, the singer is still showing off those powerful pipes. Now, the 28-year-old tenor is in Australia to perform at Carol's in the Domain to bring some festive cheer to this holiday season. Wow, Jonathan Antoine joins us now. Good morning to you, Jonathan. Good morning. Okay, you thrust into the limelight as a 17-year-old on Britain's Got Talent. How old do you think you were when you realised you had that voice? That wasn't <laughs> something that everyone has. Thank you very much for, for one. Uh, I'm still realising it, I suppose, you know. Um, Every day that I'm able to, to go out and to perform for people and to affect someone in some way, I feel that uh, I realise that all over again. I realise the power that music and that art has. It's, it's, it's a pretty wonderful thing. <laughs> I mean, did you ever think you'd be living this life uh, 10 years on from Britain's Got Talent and that was just the doorway? Because the experiences you've had now, and we'll talk about the carols in a moment, in front of 30,000 people singing, but it must just be a dream come true. It is. It, it really is. Every single day, I, I, I pinch myself, you know. It's... How, how, how does one express, you know, 10 years of, of being able to do the thing that they love and to now have that chance to find myself, to figure out what it is that I want to do with the rest of my life yeah. is amazing. You're yeah, working so on a documentary good. at the moment and you're revealing different parts of your life. Yeah. Um, some things that fans might not know. I am, I am. In fact, um, I have, well, I suppose, an exclusive scoop for you. Um, earlier this year, um, at the beginning of this year, I was diagnosed with autism. And uh, this is the first time that I'm able to publicly speak about it. And it's, that, that is incredibly liberating. And to have gone through uh, these 28 years of my life not knowing and now to have not an excuse, but an explanation for some of the hardships that I did face is incredibly gratifying. Mm. It must have been so challenging for you and the fact that you wanted to investigate it further uh, and also, as you said, liberating too. And, and no doubt the music is therapy in itself. Um, can we talk about Carols in the Domain? Because oh, uh, luckily enough, I was there as part of it and uh, heard you sing. And I have to say, Jonathan, your voice, it, just talking about it gives me goosebumps, but hearing you sing in the domain in front of 30,000 people was just incredible. You have to watch it on Saturday when it comes up. Um, what was the experience like for you? Oh, unbelievable. Highlight. The highlight of my career so far, frankly. It's the, the warmth that the Australian people have shown me, uh, not even at the concert, you know, just before, setting everything up. And then at the concert, you know, that reaction. It's, it's what I live for. It's the part of the reason that, that I do this and that I can still do this. Well, Jonathan, you've moved so many people with your voice and now just, just being open about your diagnosis and helping other people to be open about theirs. So glad that you can answer some questions now in your head. So thank yeah. you so much for being with us. Mm, Can't no wait to see you with Carol's. Shervo's already seen you. For those of us who I haven't have, been, we can see it on enough. Saturday night. Mm, thank yeah. you so much. Oh, thank, thank you, Jonathan. Thank Merry you Christmas much. as well. And uh, you can catch the Carol's on 7 and 7 plus 7.30 p.m. Uh, on Saturday night. There it is. And Jonathan's performance, trust me, is so uplifting.